I started playing the piano when I was uh, six years old because I wanted to become a singer. So I told my parents I want to be a singer and there was this kind of organ home. So I started the piano by chance. It could have, it could have been another instrument. And then I, um, I started playing classical music, of course. So I entered in the conservatory of Florence, the town I used to live at the time, uh, when I was 11 years old. But I discovered jazz music at the same time and I had a very good teacher in uh, Firenze. Uh, his name was Luca Flores and uh, he taught me uh, the harmony and he introduced me to the world of improvisation and jazz music. So I started listening to all these, all these very fast piano players like Oscar Peterson and Art Tatum. I fell in love with uh, this, this idea of playing fast and uh, playing with much, much techniques. So I started playing uh, jazz music with people uh, older than me when I was 15 years old. So now I'm uh, 33 and I'm playing, uh, I should say, professionally uh, since 18 years. I was the keyboard player for some Italian pop singers like uh, Giovanotti and uh, when I met Enrico Rava we, we had our first concert together in 1996 and he called me to play with uh, him in Paris with Michel Benita and Aldo Romano, bass and drums. So that was the, the beginning of my jazz career in a way because he, he told me, you know, in, in a way he, he took me and he told me you, you don't need to play pop music if you don't like it so much. So you, you, can, you can try, you can risk now because you have no family. I mean, you, you don't have to, you don't have children, so you are not obliged to earn money immediately. And I started playing only jazz music, or should I say only the music that I, I liked. So Enrico was so important for me since 10 years. He's still, uh, he's still uh, giving me good advices for my career and of course he, he taught me also um, a, a lot of things in music, just playing the music because we, we never talked about the music so much. We just play and uh, he's got so much power, so much uh, charisma that uh, so you, you feel what he wants uh, from you. He, do, he doesn't need to ask about that. In the record, you will find uh, one Prokofiev tune, which which is coming from the second, from the first concerto uh, for piano and orchestra, the second movement of a concerto. I arranged it and I'm playing it as a as a jazz ballad. And uh, the rest of the record was almost totally improvised. So I played some standards that I used to play when I when I have solo concerts. I played some songs of mine. I I, I played for. Uh, free improvisations, even if you feel that, that, uh, that I have a structure in mind, because even when, when I improvise totally free, I always uh, build cages for me. I love to build a cage uh, as a composer, so that the musician, the, the musician Bolani has to try to escape from the cages that the Bolani composer prepared. Recording something is always like uh, taking a picture of a moment. So this recording is a kind of picture of the last year. It was recorded in August 2005. Uh, the most important thing is that you, you have to be so sure about the picture because uh, after some years you, you have to come back to the picture and be cool about that. So in a way uh, that's the problem while recording jazz music because of course it's almost totally improvised and uh, and uh, the day after the recording you you could have done uh, a totally different thing so maybe you know you, you don't recognize yourself in what you recorded so I hope that this record is going to be the same after 10 or 12 or 20 or 100 years because I would I, I would still be here to listen to it The repertoire of the album is so bizarre, I guess. Not for me, because I, I feel that the, the most important thing is not the, the way, uh, is not the things you are playing when you're a jazz musician, but the, the way you played them. 
So I'm playing some Prokofiev, I'm playing a song by the Beach Boys, I'm playing an Italian one by a composer and piano player called Antonio Zambrini, I'm playing music of mine, I'm playing some American standards, I'm playing uh, some Latin American songs because I love South American music. But I do think that the most important thing is not what you play, but the way you do it. So you can feel that it's always the same piano player playing all these different things. So maybe it can be boring also, but I mean, in a way it's a kind of a path, a precise path, because you feel that it's only one person doing this path. Also, I have to say that the list, the song list was, was chosen by Manfred, Manfred Eicher. He, he made a very good song list because he found, he found out some, uh, some uh, similar ideas in uh, songs which were, recorded, uh, which were recorded in very different uh, moments of the day. So uh, we made a list which sounds like a suite, exactly like a suite, so you have the feeling that there's a, maybe a, a big structure on, on the record. Or maybe you don't, but that's not a problem. I mean, it's, it's just uh, you know, music, so everybody feels differently about that. <laughs> uh, jazz is a language by now, it's not only a, a kind of music, it's not anymore a kind of music, so you have different um, things you can say with this language, so uh, everybody in the world is using the language, uh, which is a language of freedom, of improvisation, and so maybe you have a kind of Italian jazz or European jazz, everybody's trying to understand what is the Italian jazz or the European jazz, I don't think it's so important, I don't think we have a school, we are just, uh, you know, we are just several musicians doing different things. Maybe the only thing that it's, uh, is really in common is this kind of love for the melody uh, and a certain kind of humor which is coming maybe, 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 who knows, from, uh, the, from Italy. At the same time, uh, I'm gonna have the record out in Italy, but also the, uh, a novel. Uh, it's coming out because uh, I wrote, yeah, I wrote a novel for an, uh, an Italian uh, publisher called Baldini e Castoldi Dalai. The novel is called La Sindrome di Brontolo. It's a uh, kind of strange, uh, it's a bizarre novel and it's not easy to, to explain how it works. It's a one day in the life of five different characters. So it's much, much, much easier to buy it uh, and read it than uh, than to explain it uh, in a way. But I don't think that uh, the writing is in, the writer is influenced by the composer or vice versa. I don't think so. I do think it's two different things. You probably you will find some something that is in common with a record, some kind of humor or some uh, uh, a certain love for the structures. So even in the novel I'm using some structures, some precise cages, and I'm trying to escape, just as in the record. So that's what I like, and uh, so that's what I'm trying to do every time I express myself. I do think that jazz music can arrive, can, uh, can touch even uh, young people. Why not? It will be great to have young uh, people at the concerts. When, I'm, when I say young people, I, I really mean uh, children, very young people. I've been uh, interviewed by Topolino. Topolino is uh, a newspaper, a magazine of uh, the Disney, the Walt Disney Company. They made the cover saying, I'm the magician of the piano. And that's quite good for me, not because, I mean, of course my ego is so absolutely happy about that because I read Topolino when I was uh, six years old, so two years ago. In Italy we have two different words to, to mean to play. To play a game is giocare, to play an instrument is suonare, to play music is suonare. That's quite strange, it's not like that in English, it's not like that in French, jouer. And uh, we, uh, probably it means that we have, we have a different approach to the music. We think it's a serious thing, maybe. I, I, don't, um, I, I really love the idea to have the same word to play, uh, to play a role also in a the theatre. So in a way, what I'm always trying to do with my music is to, to have fun. To have fun is the first thing because I started when I was a child and I had a lot of fun and I'm still trying 
and it's not difficult. I'm still trying to have fun because the most important thing is to be to be happy about the thing you're doing.